Hello, this is a video response to Kate Kerr's, Kat Kerr's um, book, Revealing Heaven. And uh, my name's Matthew Robert Payne. And I just want to give some feedback on her book and then go into shortly um, some visits I had to heaven. Um, she mentioned movie theatres in heaven and I thought this was great because I've seen visions of earth in the new kingdom and I've seen um, a city with um, multiple theatres uh, going for about two kilometres and films getting released at enormous rates um, so many films getting released and everyone who wanted to act and everyone who wanted to write a film were given specific directions on what the film content could include. There were specific rules. As long as you wrote a film that didn't have sex scenes and didn't have swearing and murder and violence in it, uh, you could have your film produced by the new earth and uh, people could act in the films. And um, she says in her book that that's how um, it operates in heaven, that people are allowed to act in the films, uh, they're allowed to sign up into films that were written on earth and act in their favourite movies, which is something remarkable. She talked about uh, heaven, um, all the abortions, all the babies, um, and uh, she said there was a great nursery of babies of abortions and uh, they're brought up by angels and I've uh, personally seen young uh, children in heaven that were abortions and met them in a park and so that was uh, enjoyable to see. One of my visions I went to a park and it was full of children and they were playing on rides and stuff and uh, the Lord told me that there were abortions and they were growing up in heaven and um, her book seems to confirm that. Um, I've visited, uh, I've seen the interiors of the house um, that um, God's prepared for me in heaven. It's got all exposed beams and wooden uh, floors and polished wood and uh, exactly how I like a kitchen and how I like a house. And uh, in the book, Revealing Heaven, the author went into how houses were specifically designed for uh, people on earth, how they um, wanted it. One of the houses was uh, set in a game reserve and that's uh, what the guy always wanted to do was to visit Africa and spend time on the game reserve and he had a house in heaven that was a game reserve and another guy mentioned in the book um, had a golf course at his house and he always wanted to play golf it was desire of his heart but he never had the money on earth to play golf and uh, he had a golf course and it was right by the sea and uh, people would sail in and come for, to, for a game on his golf course and that was a terrific uh, part of the book and tremendously encouraging that there's actually an ocean in heaven and there's um, streams and she mentioned that there was an amusement park which is exciting because uh, when I saw the children in heaven they were playing on all different rides and there's enjoyment. I've seen visions of heavens, of coffee shops and restaurants and places people can go and eat and the author of Revealing Heaven says that there's all sorts of pleasures in heaven. One time I saw a wall in heaven um, that was uh, hundreds of feet high and hundreds of feet long. There was uh, like a glory cloud of like a cloud of mist uh, that um, was around the wall so I couldn't see how long the wall was but I um, was told by Jesus to put my hand into the wall and I pulled out um, a soccer ball uh, size diamond and it was just glowing in my hand and refracting all different colours of light from it and God the Father spoke to me later on and said that um, the soccer ball um, price on earth could uh, fund the US government for 200 years. That was the worth of the diamond and the wall was hundreds of feet high 
and I don't know how long it was and God the Father when I was calculating what would run the US government for 200 years trying to work out how many billions that was um, or trillions that was um, and I calculated how many thousands of diamonds are in the wall um, it was amazing the figures in my head were amazing and uh, God said that's what money means to us up here Matthew and um, that really meant a lot to me one time when I was visiting the orphans in heaven uh, I met a young girl and she said uh, do you want to come to the place that I really love and as soon as I thought um, we're immediately at the place and um, it was the stables of horses and there was a beautiful uh, uh, beautiful grass um, and, and it was just beautiful going up and rolling hills and uh, there was horses stables and she said this is where she rides the horses in heaven and um, it was tremendous knowing that this young youth had horses to ride and I asked her if she'd ridden with angels and she said she'd even ridden with Michael the Archangel and I thought that was tremendous. Uh, so heaven's a, an exciting place, a revealing heaven all rings true to me, everything rings true. Um, she spoke of a place in revealing heaven of, of a portal where people can um, watch earth, they can go to this portal and watch uh, their loved ones on earth and see uh, specific occasions when they're giving their life to the Lord or births, deaths and marriages and all sorts of things on earth and um, I'd seen something similar, I'd seen people watching TV like Foxtel, like um, like cable TV and they had um, uh, they had uh, TV guides that told them when a certain relative or when a certain person that they're watching on earth was going to be doing a certain thing um, that was a highlight in their life uh, or a good anointed time in their life and so the people in heaven tuned in their TVs and watched the person on earth do what they did just like um, people in heaven now watching me record this video um, proud of me doing that so when she spoke of the portal in heaven I knew that um, in Hebrews, 1, Hebrews 12 verse 1 it says we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses and it um, goes straight after it says therefore since we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses let us go on with the task and endure or something like that um, and it comes straight after um, Hebrews chapter 11 which talks of all the heroes of the faith and then it says therefore and I've heard whenever there's a therefore you always got to look before that statement to realize what it's there for and um, the therefore was linking all the heroes of the faith saying that they were p part of the great cloud of witnesses looking down to earth so um, I've experienced that and um, it's very edifying to realize that there's a great place in heaven that they can all go and uh, watch certain special events um, the, the, less, the less bigger events could be watched on their personal TVs that they have up there um, that I've seen in visions. Uh, so I've seen a tremendous amount in heaven. I've um, uh, been to the throne room and uh, when I entered the throne room in heaven in a vision just in my mind, um, I haven't spiritually gone there in my physical body, my spirit hasn't gone there, but part of my spirit's gone there in my mind. Um, when I walked into the throne room, I fell down seven times on the way to the throne and um, the author um, of this book uh, says that the glory is so powerful in heaven that it almost knocks you down. Well, it did knock me down uh, seven times, seven or eight times um, on the way to the throne and uh, the people parted um, when I walked into the throne room and were all looking at me as I walked along and sort of curtsying to me um, and uh, the author of the book said that uh, the same thing people greet you as, as you're entering the throne room and going up to the front so um, there's been a lot of similar things that um, I've seen in heaven um, than the author of the book uh, 
that uh, it's a book that I really recommend that everyone gets. Uh, it's tremendous encouragement. It's uh, very encouraging for people who have lost loved ones to know that they're enjoying themselves up there. Um, I hope that uh, this is an exciting video for you to watch. God bless.